have a very special guest with us today. He is the first Bangladeshi who received a scientific and technical academy award on 2007 and 2015 for his contribution to the development of the fluid simulation system for the movie Pirates of Caribbean 3 at World's End and the movie 2012. Yes, I am talking about Nafis bin Zafar, who is a Bangladeshi software engineer. Nafis is currently visiting Australia and we are very happy that he gave us some time for the Bangladesh Sydney viewers and readers. Thank you Nafis and welcome to Sydney. Thank you for having me. Winning an Academy Award in any category is a big achievement. You have to be the best of the best. So congratulations again Nafis. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> you are originally from Dhaka, isn't yes, it? That's correct. Okay. Tell us something about yourself then. Well, I was born in Dhaka. Uh, my father was in the Bangladesh Army. Mm -hmm. And um, so for the first 11 years of my life, it was about uh, moving around Bangladesh and then living in Dhaka itself for a while. And then we moved to the US, to Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And that's where I spent uh, my, um, my teens and where I went to university and when I first started working. So you studied uh, software engineering at the College of um, the Charleston at South Carolina? That's correct. Uh, I studied right. computer science mm -hmm. and uh, mostly because I didn't uh, know what else to study and that seemed fairly easy. Um, so yes, that's, that's what I did. So now you call your homies my home now is Los Angeles and has been for the last 15 years. Okay. Um, we are actually um, uh, conducting this program in English for the new generations as well so that they can understand your achievement and realize as well. Uh, but um, as I know that you can speak Bangla very well as well, so feel free. Whatever is easier for you, you can speak in English or in Bangla as well. That's good. Um, when you were in the College of Charleston, you did a uh, program for NASA. What you did over there? I uh, mean, NASA did an internship. So, uh, a college student, I was a teammate. I was just uh, ni educational software li si about uh, how the moon was formed and trying to teach students about uh, the geology of the moon. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was, uh, that was my first exposure to working in a professional, scientific and technical mm -hmm. environment. Very good. Okay, and then you joined uh, Digital Domain and, uh, who, and the founded by um, James Cameron, who was the director of Titanic, isn't it? That's right. So after college, I actually worked for a couple of years as a software engineer, just doing fairly regular software engineering programming jobs. Um, and then I took the time to find out about computer graphics. Um, and at the time, you could do computer graphics professionally in one of two ways. You could go work in video games, or you could go work in the movies. And I chose to work in the movies. And um, after Digital Domain, um, you were working in DreamWorks um, as the Director of Research and Development in Shanghai. That's right. Tell us something about that, please. Yeah, so um, I spent uh, about nine years at Digital Domain working on live action films. And mm -hmm. um, this is where you have real actors and real sets, and you go mm -hmm. film those sets, and then you try to add digital elements to them. Um, at the end of that, I kind of wanted to broaden my experience, and I wanted to try feature animation. Now, feature animation is probably what most children get exposed to first as computer graphics because we watch these movies from DreamWorks and Disney and Pixar. Uh, we watch Saturday morning cartoons and um, certainly for me Bugs Bunny is how I kind of saw uh, mm -hmm. films and uh, motion pictures in the very wow. beginning of my life. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try that. I wanted to try creating those experiences for today's children. 
and uh, I went to work for DreamWorks Animation. I was reading a mini biography um, about you. Someone called Tawhid actually wrote, and um, I saw that it, uh, like you know, he mentioned creativity in your blood, and you got that creativity from your mother's side, and also you got. You learned actually mathematics and science from your father's side. Uh, would you please tell us something about your, uh, like you know, parents' influence um, for your achievement, and also you can tell about your greater family as well. Um, yeah. So first of all, you know, there are these biographies about me on IMDb, and I even have a Wikipedia page. I have no idea who wrote them. I have fans out there that I don't know about. Um, and it's always both funny and creepy to realize that. Um, but um, the gist of it is correct. I, I have a very gifted family and I'm um, very lucky to be a part of, part of um, this yeah. wonderful uh, set of people who have always inspired me and uh, uh, taught me that creativity and, and mm -hmm. just um, artistic endeavors are fun and should be... Um, you know, it's something we should do regularly. Um, my uh, my uncle Amar Apon Mama uh, mm -hmm. was uh, Sayyid Moin al Hussein. He passed away last year, but um, he was the uh, architect of the um, um, national uh, the, the national monument in, in Bangladesh, the mm -hmm. Jatiya Shriti Shod. Mm -hmm. um, and Bengali word of the day: architect is Tapoti. Tapoti, <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, he, uh, when I was, was little, I would watch him or draw and, and make all of these like technical sketches. And I thought that was really fun. And I would try to do the same. Um, my great grandfather on my mother's side is, um, the poet, mm -hmm. uh, Gulam Mustafa. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's a, a famous poet, uh, mm -hmm. in, in Bengali, um, mm -hmm. liter literature history, um, and uh, so, yeah, I have, I have all of these, like, fun um, experiences. Uh, my father, um, he's, uh, he's, got, he's the more uh, left-brained person. He's, he's an accountant. Uh, he was, as I mentioned, in the military. He, um, he, he's, he's very, like, objective and logical. Mm -hmm. But the reality is I'd learned all my math from my mom. She is the one with patience mom. to wow. teach me, uh, and she's a wonderful teacher. Um, so yes, um, that I suppose I got some innate ability from my father, but the actual learning came from my mother. Thank you, thank you. We are really happy to know that. Um, now I would like to ask you a personal question. Um, are you seeing someone or is there anyone special in your life you can tell about? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is very personal and a question that I get in every interview in Bengali that I do. And I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's good as well. <laughs> okay, Nafis. Um, you were in your 30s, I believe. That's right. I'm old. You are not. You are not. It's just beginning. <laughs> and you already have an, have two Oscars in your hand and you have you have your whole career ahead. And um, on behalf of the Bangladeshi viewers and readers, I wish you more and more success in your life. All the best. Keep up your good work and make us proud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dhanabad. <laughs>